Let's say from an iPhone you want to create a custom recipe for something that you make a lot and just have portions of it on a regular basis. For me that would be likely coffee creamer. So what I'm going to do is create a recipe in my fitness pal in order to just put in the coffee creamer so much more quickly each time. Under breakfast I'm going to click add food and then on the top it says all recipes, meals, my foods. I'm just going to go to recipes and click the upper right plus sign to create a new one. And then click create a recipe. Add from the web if you know where it was originally or enter ingredients manually. I like to do that so I can be exact with what ingredients I'm specifically using and their nutrition value. I'll title it creamer and then servings. I know that I get let's say 12 equal servings out of one batch because I've made this before so I'm going to put 12. That way when I enter it into breakfast I just choose one of those servings and I'll have 11 left out of my batch. Click the arrow next and then add your ingredients. I like to scan them in so I click add ingredient in the bottom right corner, you'll see settings or scan. I'm going to touch scan. First, my milk. And let's say I want to measure by ounces to be exact. You touch where it said one cup and then choose whichever measurement you want. I'm going to choose one fluid ounce, check mark. And then I'm not just putting in one ounce into my recipe. I put in, let's say, eight or nine. Click the check mark, and I like to be exact with decimal, like I could put 9.7 if that's how it happened to measure this time I made it. Click the check mark in the middle, and then the check mark on top. Add another ingredient, scan again, scan the next thing, heavy whipping cream, let's say I put in, I touch the one tablespoon and I change that to one ounce because that's how I do it. Push the black check mark, and let's say I put in four ounces. Check mark, check mark. And I'll add one more ingredient. Let's say it was vanilla syrup or vanilla extract. Scan, and scan it. One teaspoon, this time I did use teaspoons and tablespoons to measure it, and let's say I put in two teaspoons, two. Check, check. There's all my ingredients. So I'm going to click the arrow in the upper right corner to finish. You can just go straight to save or save and log. And I was going to log it anyway, so click save and log. And there it is. Now it's saved into your account. And I know I just had one serving, and that's the only option it's going to give you um, since it was custom made this way. And then I know that out of my 12 batches, I had one. And it's okay if you felt like a double dose the next day to change it to two. Just be honest, check mark, leave it in there. Let's say I really wanted my coffee sweet and I had it in there. And then click the check mark in the upper right corner. There it is, it's in your breakfast log.